Good morning. Well, it's not good morning today. Uh, the weather is a bit rubbish. It's got a rainy cold day, but it is what it is. It's a winter here. Um, and today's video, we're going to talk about thin cross or thick cross. What's your favorite style of pizza? And uh, I'm going to make four different sides of pizzas. Hopefully, the weather is going to help us. Uh, then you can realize what style of pizza you like to do it. So thin or thick crust or whatever medium crust. Uh, we're gonna start soon uh, to make this video. Also gonna show you my new extract of my new simini. Smoke less. It's trying to avoid close to the to the tent to avoid fans. The simi was too close. As you can see now, it's gonna it's gonna be quite long so and uh, smoke much less so i recommend if you use a wood fire oven or any type of oven the semen has to be long enough to avoid great expiration um, aspiration and uh, uh, smoke less as well okay we're gonna start our video very soon about thin or thick crusts okay guys so i can make uh, four pizzas here so 300 250, 200, 150. So the reason of this video to check what's your style of cross you like to do when you make your own pizza. So we're gonna make four, and we're going to see the different sides of cross. Thin cross, a thicker cross, something like that. Okay, then we're gonna bake this. So people keep asking me what's the size of your pizza balls and normally I do 200, 210 but you know everybody got different style of making your own pizzas. This one you don't need. So we start from the little one from 150. I am going to stretch all of them at pretty much 10, 11 inch all of them. So this one is quite 150, so definitely the cross will be very thin. That's the 200, I don't want to confuse. It's very important so when you stretch your pizza to not press the cross otherwise it's going to be all flat out. Okay. Sides, we're going to stretch a little bit more and we're going to put the sauce. Also, when you put the sauce, you have to always leave a kind of centimeter away your cross, it's not going to grow. And then we will see all the different sides of the cross, and you're going to tell me which one is your. Forever style. <laughs> also, the, the hydration of this pizza is 62%. Okay, so we start with that one. So that's the 300 one. Okay, 250. Right, so all 
It's going to the oven now, and then we're gonna see all the different sides. Some people like Canotto style, contemporary Napolitan style, or film based Roman style. I mean, a kind of from the middle wave to the cross, not too thin, not too uh, thick. Now we're gonna put in line. And you can see the 300 grams is quite counter style, very contemporary and contemporary Napolitan style pizzas. Big, big cross. Oh, the said the three hundred ones. Now we got the two fifty coming out. It's very important when you make your pizza balls to measure it with a scale. Because otherwise, if you do just by eyes, it's not gonna be all the same size. Okay, and then we got the last two coming out. Okay, the last one coming out now. That's the 150, so you can see a big difference, it's pretty much the double size. So you can see that cross of 300 grams, it's nice, big Canotto style. Uh, some people like puffy crust like that. <laughs> 250 is kind of average, let's say. That's normally what I do most of the time, 200 grams, crust's quite small. Hey, if you like very thin, crossed that's probably 150 is your, your own style so guys um, just want to make this video just to see what's the size of your pizza your style you like to create leave it comments below leave tell me which pizza you like to make it and uh, thanks for watching and see you very soon in the next video